Damian Lillard had one of his worst shooting games in the season against the Sixers. He finished the game with 30, but he only shot 28% from the field. A big reason for this was Ben Simmons. He was on him for most of the game. After the game, he had this to say about himself. I love the fact that my teammates can look at me and tell me, you know, you gotta go out and lock this guy up. Um, you know, there's, there's nights that guys go off, it's gonna happen, but you know, most of the time, I feel like I'm doing a good job and making the right plays. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm the best defender in the NBA. I don't blame him for saying this at all. He's definitely one of the best defenders in the league. Last season, he led the league in steals and made the first team all defense. This season is looking like he's about to do the same thing. But as far as being the best defender in the league, I don't know. He might not even be the best defender on his team. You can make a case for Joel Embiid being their best defender. So far this season, Embiid is averaging 1.3 blocks per game and 1.3 steals as well. Also, you can make a case for other guys. Kawhi is still one of the best defenders in the league, but people don't talk about it as much anymore because people got so used to it. Ben Simmons knows what's up though. I put Giannis over Kawhi. You say you pick Giannis over Kawhi? Really? But I don't have you, know, you have never played against Kawhi Leonard in the playoffs then. <laughs> you can't forget about Giannis too. He's still one of the best defenders in the league. I still can't believe he won Defensive Player of the Year and the MVP at the same time. It's gonna be a long time before we see someone else do that again. And even though AD been struggling offensively and dealing with injuries, he's still one of the best defenders. That's one thing I love about AD. Even when he's struggling, he's still able to impact the game tremendously because of his defense. It's crazy how he never won a Defensive Player of the Year yet. I think he will one day though. Shout out to Miles Turner too. He's been the best rim protector so far in the league this season. Right now, he's averaging 3.4 blocks per game. That's a lot of blocks right there. He has more total blocks this season than some teams. At one point of the season, he was averaging 4.2 blocks per game. If he could get back to that number, he would be the first player in the last 25 years to average four blocks per game. What you're doing defensively, do you feel like you've got some, some people paying attention to what you're doing here to start this season on the defensive end? Not enough. I think that, you know, locally, like I said, people know what I do, but nationally, you know, I know I deserve more credit, but I'm just going to continue to keep doing what I'm doing and, um, you know, let the, you know, let the, let the craft work, uh, speak for itself. Shout out to Lou Dortz, too. He's a great defender as well. James Harden, who's one of the greatest scorers of all time, had a hard time scoring against him in the playoffs. That series, when he was in the game, Harden's true shooting percentage went down 15%. I never seen a player be able to guard Harden the way he did that series. He also gave Braun a hard time the other day, too. Lakers trying to, I guess, run the clock down as far as possible. LeBron has it, and Dort is reaching, reaching, and <laughs> played pretty good defense there, though. But who do y'all think is the best defender in the league right now, though? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.